Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new project in Visual Studio and write a very small program and build and uh, compile it. So we're going to start Visual Studio Express. 2012 is what I have. Um, so please install that. Do not install 2013. It is, a, it is not a released version. So when you open Visual Studio 2012, Express, this is what you should see. This is your start page. You can either leave it or you can close it. We are going to start off by creating a new project. You can do it from right here. You can say create a new project right in this window here in the center on the left hand side panel or you can go to file and you can go new project and you want to make sure on the left hand side under templates it says visual C++ and in the center you want to make sure it says win32 console application because in this class we are going to be creating console applications um, and in the bottom you want to give it a name I'm going to call it hello world uh, try not to call them all console application one through um, you know whatever because that um, is very confusing when you look at console application number 10 you're not sure what exactly it is doing in that particular project so if you name your projects appropriately it will help you um, find them now you also want to make sure that your folder where you're putting it in is under Visual Studio 2012 projects and if you go here to browse it will show you the project folder so you want to go to documents you want to make sure it says Visual Studio 2012 projects and I like to put it right there and say select folder and your project is going to be called hello world it, says it essentially creates a folder in that folder called hello world and then you say OK and it says I already have a project with that name so I am going to call it hello world version 2 so it should be able to create that project and this window is very important you want to go into application settings and you want to make sure it says empty project that box is checked we want to create an empty project please make sure you go through these steps to create the project otherwise Visual Studio will put unnecessary things in your project that we really don't want at this point in time. So under application settings, you want to make sure the box empty project is checked and you click finish and this will create a new console application, which is an empty project. And when that is done, you should see on the right hand side, you should see a solution explorer which has three folders. Now for some reason if you cannot see the Solution Explorer you can go to View and you can click on Solution Explorer which is essentially a toggle to turn it on and off. So under your source files these folders should all be empty. Header files, resource files, they're all folders and they should all be empty if you created your project right. Under source files, we are going to add a new file. Source file is where we are going to create all our code files. So all we have right now is a project. Now right click on source files and you're going to say add new item. We're going to create a new code file and you want to make sure it's a CPP file. We're going to create a CPP file and again it calls, it names all your files source.cpp please change the name to something that is more meaningful do not leave it at source.cpp I do have specific instructions for your assignments to call them A01, A02 and so on and so forth so make sure to change the name here and you click on add that will add a new file open up the editor so you can actually type some code so this is the first code file that I'm going to type just to show you how to build and compile some code so that's a double slash that says it's a comment this program demonstrates how to output something to the screen 
So here are two lines that are standard for every program. We need to have this include a header file and use a namespace called std for standard. Then we enter our program main is the entry point for all our programs. Int says it's an integer. It's going to return an integer. The parentheses says it's a function. And they are empty parentheses. The function doesn't take any parameters. So int main, curly bracket says here's the body of my code. C out says console out, output something to the console. The less than less than sign stands for the extraction operator, stream operator. We are streaming something outside. And we are going to put in double quotes, whatever you want to type, literal string that's called. And another stream operator and end line, E-N-D-L, says output a new line to the screen. And that's it. So I'm simply going to output one line. And every time you see squiggly lines, it simply is trying to point out that there's some error or it takes a minute to um, fix everything, take a look at the whole line and says, well, now it's right. So now that that code looks good, we are going to build it and we are going to compile it. So you go to build and build solution or you can use the shortcut key F7, which does the same thing. And you should see an output window at the bottom that should build it and say if it was successful or if it failed. So if you have any errors, it shows in the bottom in this output window. It says one succeeded, zero failed. So now we can run it, go to debug, and make sure you use start without debugging. Control F5 will do the same. And you should see a window and you should see your text that you asked it to output. I said hello world. You can output whatever you want inside of double quotes and it should output that onto the screen. So that's it. That's how you create a new project and you create a new file and you build and you execute your code. Now for some reason if you downloaded code from my D2L uh, system, make sure to put it in this folder. Here's a folder where you have your projects folder. Remember we went into documents, Visual Studio 2012 projects and here's my hello world project that I just created. So once you create your project this folder will exist. Hello World version 2 and you, you should see one more folder with the same name Hello World version 2. Go in there and you will see here is my CPP file. Uh, here this one the C++ source file. So you can copy any existing code to this folder and go back to Visual Studio right click on your source file and you can add an existing item at that time and when you click add an existing item it'll take you to that folder and it'll show you the CPP files that you have here. If you have any questions email me or please post on the discussion board.